Hi, I'm Jim Miller, and I want to say a few things about a show that I put together. I started doing artwork, pictures, paintings, drawings of St. Vincent back in the 60s when I was there, into the 70s. And even after I left, I, uh, I did a number of artworks, uh, views of St. Vincent, some as recent as uh, 2016. And I'm going to show you some pictures of that. So, hang on. We are going to look at some old pictures of St. Vincent. This part is no longer there. It was the bandwagon courtyard. This down here was the bandwagon, and up here is Sarkot Tower. That's a uh, drawing I did quite a few years ago. Another drawing <coughs> showing Andrew Hall. And this part of Andrew Hall is now gone. It was damaged in the fire <coughs> in 1963. Bead Hall is also gone now. Here we look over that corner that I showed you before from the outside. This is the uh, northwest corner of the old quadrangle. Here's the mill where I used to work back in the 60s. And here are some more outbuildings. This was the uh, tractor shed. And once upon a time, they actually kept pigs in that building. This is the courtyard again. The bandwagon down there. In the background, you see the new monastery. Again, the northwest tower of the old quadrangle. And then to the right, you see a little bit of the new monastery. On this landform here, once sat a church that was built in 1835 before Boniface Wimmer and the Benedictines even arrived. And that was pretty much the focus of the big fire that really tore through the place. A painting I did back in the 60s, the boiler house. This is what they had com accomplished by 1857. The uh, Benedictines found this church and a few other buildings there, and they started to work to develop it. And they, in a little bit more than 10 years, this is what they had done. And that is the present carpenter and print shop. This is but 40 years after the Benedictines arrived, what they managed to achieve. That's a lot of work. And this is what they found when they arrived at St. Vincent, the old 1835 church, the pastor's residence, a log building, and uh, a little schoolhouse. This was back when St. Vincent had a brewery. This was a brewery. This was the malt house. It's the mill that's still there. And that's the quadrangle, an old sauerkraut tower up there. That's the mill over there and the other outbuildings. That's the old tower built in the early 1870s. It became a symbol of St. Vincent, an iconic structure, and it was destroyed in the big fire in 1963. Looking at the uh, monastery from out in the farm, the farming fields, that's the present machine shop. A painting from about 1968 that I did. Another one, this shows the back of the uh, basilica, the apse. That's Brother Tom smoking the bees. He was a beekeeper. This shows some of the fire damage in the big fire in 1963. That's bead hall that was torn down.
This shows you the new monastery. It was built about 1966, 67 in that area. This is the old Sauerkraut Tower. These are buildings down by the lake, the Mullet House and the Mill. All these buildings are gone now. The barn and the outbuildings. This was the uh, greenhouse. St. Vincent had a greenhouse over by 981. And that's gone now. Another shot of the bandwagon courtyard shows some of the damage done by the 1963 fire up here. This shows the beginnings of the science building. This, uh, this is when they first started to drill, take core samples, and put in foundations, showing the Sauerkraut Tower in the background. And this is the northeast tower of the old original quadrangle. That's still there. That's the northwest tower of the quadrangle, and that is gone now. That's a drawing I did back around 1970. And behind a willow tree, you can just barely see Aquinas Hall. That was the, uh, that was, that, they were the classrooms for the seminary. Brother Benedict, a good man. This was down at St. Vincent's Shaft. That was the uh, hoist motor that drove the uh, elevators up and down in St. Vincent's Shaft to bring the coal in and out and the men in. Brother Norman, now president of the college. Bead Hall again. The mill. That's the malt house that was associated with the brewery. Egbert Donovan, he was abbot in the 60s and into the 70s. Damien Warnock, a priest at St. Vincent, he was a friend of mine. This is the, uh, the house that sat on the foundation of the old brewery. The Tuttles lived there, Tom and Daisy Tuttle. Tom took care of the pig farm. And that tells us that we're at an end here. Uh, that's the old tower that was once upon a time the symbol of St. Vincent. And I'm going to push a button and shut this down and say so long. <laughs>